Okay, so I'm going to give you the TLDR on this one because you have a life and you don't want to be here all day. I get that. I respect that. So this is the situation. So the stuff that I do specifically on YouTube has gone through a lot of growing pains over the years trying to figure out this is how I'm going to structure things. This goes on this channel. This goes on that channel. However, ultimately, the new way things are going to be structured is the following. Cubepunks going forward is going to be focused on trying to make video games and making video games at a professional level. Because of that, certain content that Cubepunks has made in the past is no longer a good fit for that YouTube channel. If a business partner comes over and sees a video called Squidward Drinks Pee, that's probably going to scare them off. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be taking some of that Cubepunks content and bringing it over here to the Larnu channel. The Larnu channel now, instead of just being solely locked into this Bionicle thing, is just going to kind of be more of like kind of this internet-y web presence stuff for me specifically, kind of a personal channel in air quotes, if you will. Some Bionicle content will be made going forward. However, a lot of this stuff is focused on uh, things that I want to make slash like making that also fits better with a more internet-y format and standard. If I make a video where I hop on Discord with a bunch of friends and decide to draw a bunch of dumb images and chop it down to like be 10 minutes long, Larnu is going to upload it there. If I make a dumb music cover or mashup of a song, it's going to go on Larnu. I do a bit of 3D modeling and drawing, and sometimes that's fan art stuff. So you know where that's going, the Larnu channel. Cubepunks is going to be treated like a professional business and their projects are going to be taken professionally. While for me, I'm going to just be treating this as a personal social media page. Speaking of personal social media pages, the main platform I've been using for the past few years, just the only one that I just consistently use and keep up with is Instagram nowadays. My current Instagram at, which is the one that's gonna be sticking with consistently going forward is Larnia Works. Before it was something else, but now I'm just gonna keep it Larnia Works. I'm gonna be Larnia Works on all platforms going forward, regardless on if I'm talking about Lego robots or not, Larnia consistently going forward, that's me. It's not 2010 YouTube anymore. No one likes having like a 10 billion different YouTube channel subdividing like every single type of content the person makes. So while the Cubepunks videos that are no longer a good fit for the channel are going to be transferred over to the Larnu channel, not all at once, mind you, because I don't want to do a bunch of sub box spamming. I'm going to be doing it probably weekly. Um, the other types of content you're going to be expecting on Larnia, like the new fresh stuff being made, is the following. I do a lot of illustration and 3D modeling now, so trying to figure out like how to make that work within a YouTube format, I I'm going to try to do that. Number two is music related stuff. I'm going to try to work on making some covers of songs or going to do mashups between two songs, that sort of stuff. I, I like doing that. I just don't really have like an incentive or a platform to put that type of stuff on there. So I don't really make a whole lot of it, but now, now I do. So I'm going to be making more of it. Number three, back when they did the Lego 90th anniversary uh, contest voting thingamajig, I did a couple of uh, videos that were commentary style videos talking about what was going on with that. Those videos did pretty well and I rather just ramble into a microphone than make a bunch of cringe tweets no one's going to read to get my opinions out there heard on the internet and also yeah, that's that's what people like nowadays I mean look at YouTube for goodness sakes half of it's literally just you know rants and ramblings but since you did it in a video it's cool it's not cringe anymore so yeah I'll, I'll probably be making a couple of those things and you know t only time will tell how much I'll you know like doing it but I'll be giving it a shot again also I would like to try to figure out how to do live streaming content. However, Murphy's Law tends to get me whenever I try to use uh, OBS. So I'm going to be experimenting a little bit with uh, stream formats and then also uh, trying to make sure that everything is working correctly with the software. But if it's just not working, then I'm just not going to be doing it. So I'm going to try a little bit longer, but no guarantees that streaming will be like a consistent thing with me going forward. <laughs> And also the final stuff you're going to probably be seeing pop up on this channel more is me talking about things that I'm working on for the key punks related stuff, more probably behind the scenes sort of things, more, you know, like showing off like rough in progress versions of games or me talking about the behind the scenes process, but in a more filtered casual way. Reason for that is truth be told, I have a awful work to life balance. I, I, I have a bit of that workaholic problem. So if if I'm just trying to make a channel that's like, hey, it's just me, this is my life, man. Well, my, my life is making video games at this point. So uh, that's going to be coming into play significantly. I think the biggest thing that could be done is clearing up misconceptions about these things because what people think video games are and like, 
they have in their head about like what goes into like making a game and like what's the hard part, what's the easier part, all that stuff. It's completely not what you think. Your worldview gets completely flipped upside down. And a lot of times nowadays when I watch videos about people talking about video games, but don't actually make the video games, they just like, I just see so much stuff. I'm like, no, that's not how it is. That's that, that, that's that's greatly inaccurate. So clearing up some misconceptions would be uh, <laughs> would be a public service that I'm willing to provide. Okay, end of the video. This is the part where I make the plugs. Okay, so if you have Instagram and you want to see the other stuff I make that just doesn't really fit on YouTube, go there. Just follow me at Learning Works. Please check out my video games. This is the stuff that I'm putting like my main focus, my main passion, my heart and soul into. Uh, you can find them all on Qpunks.com. But specifically though, roughly around a week ago, I released a new video game called Poco. Uh, go to newgrounds.com. You can play the game in browser. If you have a Newgrounds account, please give it a nice rating because that would help me out a bit. Do that, it would help me out more than you can imagine. And then, you know, also check out my other games too. But specifically, please play Poco. <laughs> in fact, the B-roll you've been seeing in this entire video has been gameplay from that game. And probably going forward, most of my B-roll is going to be gameplay from my own games. <laughs> yeah, really subtle advertising on that one. And finally, you're, you're, you're seeing this video on the Larnu channel, so please just uh, stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned into seeing like what else I'm going to be uploading here. That's a little wacky thingamajig. All right, okay, cool. Bye.